the about 140 cases that uh, we have. And I'm being informed that uh, quite a number of those cases who are positive are from EDA, uh, from remand, police remand, and there are a number, uh, most of them are refugees uh, from Ethiopia who have been kept in the remand. And uh, I think it is really causing problem because the police who are serving them are also going to, to be affected in a big way. Uh, we've all uh, come to realize that this is not responsibility of the national government or county government. This is an individual responsibility. And it is all of us to take that responsibility to protect ourselves, to protect our family, to protect our neighbors, and to protect the community at large. I think the challenge we face in this year is that uh, people are not serious. People are very lax. Uh, people are not taking the preventive measures very seriously. Uh, I don't know why people are not taking this very seriously, but we always encourage people to uh, ensure that they wash their hands with running water and soap. They use masks continuously. You must have seen in Isiolo uh, where in the morning there are very few people. Uh, from 11 o'clock to afternoon, the town is crowded. And people just crowd and sit together and talk and, and, and chat. You can see someone putting on a mask, but putting it under the chin. But they are, and, and then you are talking to someone, which I think is, is, is dangerous, and people do not realize this. It is, it is my appeal to everyone that uh, uh, we need to be serious. We need to be serious about our own individual health. Uh, we need to be very serious about the health of our own family members. And that, in essence, then will go to our neighbors, to, our, to, the, to the general uh, community. What plans are we trying to put in place? Uh, for this. I think we are reinventing, we are, we are trying to revisit uh, those measures which we had put in place in the first phase. Uh, one of the things that we, are, we, are, we were discussing with the provincial administration, and you must have seen some of them, is the, when the police are arresting quite a number of people. Uh, yes, people fear police, but I don't think that is a, uh, the best way to address it. What we are trying to do is to make sure that the public health officers the security team, the county enforcement officers, all move around to ensure that people, when they go to the market, they should not be allowed unless they have masks. In the shops, the same. In the bars and the restaurant, the same. So that we make sure that uh, those people who are selling their, 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 uh, their commodities, will make sure that you don't walk into those places without you putting on mask. Number two, we are planning with the support of partners and the, and the county to start a public address system. Uh, you've seen the public address system we have been using uh, with the support of a partner, particularly Red Cross, and uh, we were starting. The, we are going to start the same to be able to uh, tape voices and move, move around so that people can be informed and they can be uh, educated. Uh, uh, so that they'll be able to change their, their behavior. I think one, one thing which is a huge problem here is not because people don't have the knowledge. My understanding is that people have a lot of knowledge, but, but uh, people don't change their behavior. 